Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another day at Views for Build. In today's episode, we are going to be painting stuff. Painting the rear bumper, painting the body kit, painting the door, painting the side skirts, and anything else I can remember. We're painting everything besides the quarter panel. Uh, they need to be painted separately and they both don't fit in the booth at the same time, so that's the game plan. We're gonna paint all that small stuff. Also, this way, if I make a huge mistake, it'll be on a smaller piece, right? Stay tuned. Before we get started today, I want to take a second out to thank our sponsor. Today's episode is sponsored by Vikings War of Clans. That's right, they're back. I love this game. You guys know I've been playing it for years now, literally years, uh, but they got a huge update. It's available now on browser, which I love because my computer's a little bit faster than my phone and I'm on it all the time. It's got some amazing graphics. The social features are all still there, so you can chat with people. It's a little bit easier with the keyboard rather than the keypad. And just like the app, you get to play with gamers from all over the world and you guys can join together and you can clan up and benefit from working together and using strategy to take over and conquer different places. And as always, it's absolutely free. So start playing Vikings now, hit the link in the description, and if you use that link, you're gonna get 200 bonus gold right off the bat and a novice relocation item, which is gonna help protect you uh, at the beginning so you don't get just like stampeded and bulldozed right away. It's a really fun game, guys. I've been playing it for years and I highly recommend it. Link is in the description. Let's get down to work. We're gonna get started here on this bumper. So uh, we're gonna need to first clean off the gunk from this badge right here. Uh, then we're gonna sand this entire thing. While we're sanding, we gotta sand off the little bits of white parts from another car in Japan that this thing hit, which is fine. Uh, <laughs> it's literally like just paint on top of our bumper. So it just borrowed some paint from another car. And then we gotta uh, uh, body fill out this gouge right here and sand that back down smooth. One thing that I do wanna point out is I've had a lot of problems when doing DIY paint jobs such as this with uh, paint reactions. And those happen when we go through the clear and through the base coat and we're into either the primer or the plastic itself. Normally it's the plastic itself. Um, so if you do that, if you burn through those two layers, I would highly recommend coating that with something that you're comfortable painting over. There are plastic adhesion promoters out there that you could use. Spray that over that primer and that, that uh, plastic. Should give you a good surface uh, that your paint won't react on. Or what I use is a good quality SEM um, primer and I'm going to cover, if I get any burn through spots, I'll cover that up because I'm very comfortable painting on top of that. It's just a lot easier to test that one section, paint over it real quick, get it, get it to be a good surface that you're comfortable with, rather than if you go and you start to paint your entire panel and you're doing your back and forth and then a couple seconds later you start to see a whole spot just start to fry up and your panels ruined that's a terrible feeling so and I've done it quite a few times Now that our bumper's all sanded up, it's time to go ahead and clean it down, wax and grease remover, blow the dust off. We're gonna do that little bit of painting over the burn through spots. This is an example of a burn through spot. Um, and you can see how it's like clear, base, and then that's not even primer, that's actually just the polyurethane. That's the stuff that worries me. Here's a, a little bit better shot of a lot more burn through. Uh, that's because we're gonna be doing body work in this whole area right here to take care of that gouge. So I sanded down purposely a little bit further. So that's the stuff that I'm gonna be uh, cleaning up. And then we're also going to bring the door in here and uh, set that down and do the body filler over there, like just a little bit of finishing work on that door panel. Got our body filler on the scratches and things that we that I showed you earlier on there and then any of the little low spots, there's some pinholes that were left here. Uh, I went out to lunch so I came back, now this is all super hardened up and ready to be sanded. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand on these things and uh, myself and Kyle are gonna work on trying to figure out then how to set everything up. We got four large body kit pieces, four small body kit pieces over there um, and two more side skirts coming in here. We gotta figure out how to set everything up to be able to spray it all at once. Oh, and, and, gotta sand the bottom side of this door.
All right, we got some stuff laid out here, but now it is time to finish the sanding work on the wide body kit. You guys remember we did a lot of glazing on this, uh, so that needs to all be sanded off smooth. And the little end pieces all need a little bit of touch up work help as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those started and get those sanded. All right, we got things hanging up and situated. Bumper is ready to go. Door has been sanded down, ready to go. All the body kit pieces sanded down, ready to go. We got a couple of the little side things, had a little bit of glazing putty put on there. They, with a quick sand down, will be ready to go. And the side skirts are ready to go. But, today's my birthday. That's right, B is for birthday. So I'm also ready to go. I'm ready to go party. All right, back from my birthday party. A little bit, a little bit worse for the wear, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it through it. Uh, when we got in here, I started reviewing kind of what we had set up with all this stuff, and um, I'm very concerned with the placement of all these wide body kit parts. What happens is when you take the gun, you're gonna come over here, and when you're spraying, you're gonna try and come in and get these corners here. If the gun and the fan is meant to be shooting here and it crosses over and catches this part right here, it's gonna give it a huge blast of paint that you didn't want. On a mid coat or a clear coat, that could really ruin a paint job. So I started looking at this stuff um, a little bit more and trying to figure out how we could spread it out and we just don't really have a good way. So I've come to the conclusion there's just not enough room in this shop to paint everything at once. So we're gonna take all the body kit stuff, including that stuff, and the side skirts and we're gonna go put them in another room. And today we're gonna focus on the door and the bumper. That looks a little bit more reasonable. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, grab the hose from outside, open up the garage door, and we are going to spray down the whole floor because we did sanding in here, it gets dust and crap in here. We wanna get it, all the dust and dirt out. So we're gonna spray down the whole floor, push that all out the garage, and then we are also gonna keep some standing water on the ground. That helps any dust or particulate that's in the air. If it lands on the ground, it will stay there and I won't kick it back up with my feet. All right, the floors are wetted and, uh, and cleaned, um, and so the panels are in place and ready to go. Next thing we gotta do is use some uh, wax and grease remover, clean these panels both up uh, real nice, and then uh, we'll hit them with a the tack cloth before we spray. We're gonna be spraying a white sealer primer uh, to prime these up. Well, I am so bummed to say this, but um, screwed up another paint job, guys. This is just, you know, <laughs> we've screwed up more than we've gotten right, but it's all <laughs> with the idea of learning. That's what this whole channel is about, is learning how to do these things, so let me teach you from my mistake. Let's start with the rear bumper. Rear bumper, sealer primer, this is just sealer primer. Uh, I know it looks pretty good, but it's just, this is just primer. Anyways, fantastic, perfectly good, no problems. On the door, we got a couple fish eyes uh, right off the bat on our first coat on the back side. We didn't get any on the, or on the front side. We didn't get any on the back side. Um, in Oregon, a lot of professional body shops are using fish eye eliminators in this season. I think it has to do with the humidity and different things like that. So we got a few small fish eyes on coat one. Coat two, I added fish eye eliminator to the paint, which I probably should not have done after you had coat one down with no fish eye eliminator. That could have been where my problem was, but uh, anyways, I added some fish eye eliminator and I shot over the panel again. As I was getting midway through, I ran out of paint. I mixed up a little bit more paint, shot the rest of the panel, um, this backside, which does not really seem to have fish eyes. So this is like normal paint on normal paint. But when you get into the middle here, you can kind of see over there, um, I also added a little bit more paint on that third coat everywhere around. So I kind of restarted back over there and went because we had a little bit of dry spray. Um, painting, I don't know if it was the fish eye eliminator paint on top of the first coat or if it was the th third coat on top of the second coat with fish eye eliminator and the third coat not having it on there. But anyways, fish eye eliminator is a chemical compound. I've heard it's made up of a lot of silica, which is also another thing that kind of like, 
I don't know. It's really complex, but it doesn't play well with other paint. And what it did was we got basically fish eyes in between the coats. So like between coat two and three, we got a ton of fish eyes. You can see they don't go all the way down to the bottom of the panel. They're just about two layers of paint deep. So um, we got enough primer on here that I can just sand this all down and it'll be nice and smooth and we can keep, we can actually, it'll work, but we can't keep painting tonight. We can't do what's called a wet on wet application because uh, this panel is toast. So moral of the story, either use fisheye eliminator the entire time or don't mess with it. I wouldn't jump in in the middle. Another thing that you can do if you get a fisheye so you have a little dot is you can come let the panel dry up pretty nicely, come back and mist coat over it and then and then let that mist dry up and then spray over it and sometimes that can help get the paint into that little fisheye. Um, but yeah, if you're using a chemical fisheye uh, remover, reducer, whatever, uh, certainly don't add it in the middle. So the panel's obviously some bad news. I got some news that I, I'm thinking a lot of you guys aren't, aren't gonna like. I got a pause GTR build here, uh, and I'm flying out to do a collab with Tavarish tomorrow. Um, I don't like to interrupt builds, but I also um, have been reading the comments and stuff like that, and nobody likes to see a build get rushed. So once we had the hangups with the quarter panel and stuff like that, I realized that I probably wasn't gonna be able to get the GTR done before this collaboration, which was how I kind of tried to schedule it. But keep in mind, when we schedule collaborations, it's months and months and months ahead of time to make our schedules line up. So this has been on the books for like, four months or something like that. Uh, we do one every year around this time. We've made a drifting Ford Explorer. Uh, we've raced $1,500 cars in the desert. We've done some fun stuff. So this is a, our third year of doing a collaboration and I'm super excited on doing it. But I know that a lot of you guys like to see a build, you know, start to finish. I apologize about that. I thought I was gonna get done, but I just didn't wanna rush it, guys. So, um, so tomorrow I head out there, or it's a, it's a quick, it's a 10 day build. We'll be working for five days, it'll air over 10 days, and then we'll be right back on the GTR. Um, no build on BS for Build has ever been started and abandoned, so you do not have to worry about that. I've got three years of history of proving that, so don't be worried about that. Please come watch this, uh, this build with me and Tavarish. It is gonna be, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's a super sexy car, it's a hell of a bargain, um, and it's gonna be a great transformation happening in a real short amount of time. So this is kind of a, well, I'll explain the build in the next episode. So thank you guys so much. I apologize that we got a bail out of the GTR, but I hope you understand because uh, this is a car that I really, really like. I really, really want to take the time to do it right. So, all right guys, I'll see you in the next one. It's a convertible. There's a hint. It's a hell of a bargain. Anyways, it's great. It's going to be a great build and it's actually my car. This car, we're working on it together out in Florida that I'm shipping it home and we'll have it here. So I'll tell you all about it in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to Vikings War of Clans. Hit the link in the description, guys. It helps support the channel very much. If enough of you guys hit that link in the description, they will continue to sponsor us and we'll be able to uh, keep supporting us with all these builds. So guys, check out the game and uh, thanks. I'll see you soon in Florida. Peace!